When you look at the Ten Commandments, um, honor thy mother and father, do you think that's a deeper representation of gratitude? Yes, that, that it, for sure it, that is, because it's not as though there is any shortage of stories in the Bible about fathers and mothers going wrong. <laughs> Right. 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 You might want. Well, yeah. Exactly. Right. So it's more like it's more like a decision. Well, why do you want your mother? Well, what happens to societies that don't worship the virgin and child, the mother, eternal mother and child? Well, if they don't have any children and they disappear. And what happens to societies that don't revere the father? Well, they they break apart and become chaotic and disintegrate. And so, so those are moral obligations, and they're not exactly dependent on the specific conditions of your life. Now, you might say, well, yeah. one way to honor your father is to rebel when necessary. And I believe that's true because it's the fundamental spirit that you're trying to affiliate yourself with, right?